Hey guys, on today's video, I'm going to be updating your Mac to the latest Mac OS. So first of all, before you update or anything like that, make sure to do a backup. Now there's something called Time Machine installed already on your Mac. And I do have a separate video that shows you everything about Time Machine, by the way, if you don't know what it is, but make a backup there. So here's my Time Machine and just press backup now. So always, always do that just in case. It's never good to skip these backups because things can happen. So as long as you have a backup and you're good to go, go on, on the top left hand side of your screen, you're gonna see the Apple logo. Second option will say system settings. Just go into system settings. That's where we do all our updates now. And then go into general. So under general, you're gonna see software update. And from software update, we're gonna see this right here. Updates available and then update now. Now, if nothing's popping up, we could refresh this just by going to automatic updates turn it off, turn it on, turn it off again. That should do this thing. I would never do beta updates unless you want to deal with any issues. And if you would like to know more information about it, you can always click on more information. So right here we can see it's only about half a gig. It's gonna restart your Mac obviously. And we can just press install now. So right now it's gonna just download. We have to press on agree and there we go. So right now what it's gonna do, it's gonna download the update, then it's gonna install it. You could just leave your Mac at this point, just let it be. And then later on, we will see it restarting. We're gonna see an Apple logo loading bar, and then we're pretty much gonna be done. Now, how long will this take? Well, it does depend on your own internet speed. So if you have really fast internet speed, this will be seconds. Others, this could be days, <laughs> it really does depend. But if you want this to go a little bit faster, usually an ethernet cable directly hooking that up from your computer to your router will do the trick. Other than that, Wi-Fi should be fine for most of you. And also remember that not all Macs can actually update to the latest Mac OS because it does depend on their age. So if you have an older Mac, it will have a maximum Mac OS that you can install on it and that's so it can keep running smoothly. So if you just left your Mac to be, it would have restarted by itself as long as nothing was running in the background. Other than that, you could just tap on restart now once it's ready. So we're gonna do that it's gonna just Go on and turn off. All right, so after a few minutes, your Mac should restart and we should see that we are all up to date. So if you go into general again, software update, we should see that we're in the latest Mac OS and that would be it for this video actually. Now remember that no matter what Mac you guys have, these exact instructions for all of you. If you got any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.